We're going to pick up right where we left off in the last video with the get elements by tag name method that we were using. And of course, we were using that to grab all of the paragraph tags in our web page. And you will remember this method creates a nice node list for us that corresponds to each paragraph tag that we have in our HTML page. So where we left it was we wanted to create a loop for all of this code because it doesn't make sense to type out all of this code if we're doing the same thing against each paragraph tag. And can you imagine if we had 30 paragraph tags and we wanted to change all of them to italic, we'd have to copy and paste this 30 times over. And that's kind of a pain. So that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna create a loop for these four lines of code. Now the first line here will stay the same. And remember it's a two-step process. We want to capture that element by whatever method we want to use. In this case we're going by tag name. So what we're going to do is we're going to use a for loop and you will remember we talked about that several videos ago. So I'm going to copy and paste that into here and here's our for loop. And of course, this is just the basic structure. We use the for keyword. Now we're gonna keep these lines of code up here so I can sort of do a comparison and then we'll delete them when we get our for loop populated. And of course, at the end of the video, it should do the same thing. Everything that we put in this for loop will do exactly what these four lines of code are doing, but it'll just do it in fewer lines. So the first thing we wanna do, and you will remember there are three things we have to do with the for loop. So the first thing we wanna do is define our variable. And so of course that is gonna be the var keyword. We're gonna set that to i, which stands for index, and we're gonna set it equal to zero. And then of course we put in a comma. So this is the first part of that for loop. Now we're gonna set this to zero because we want this loop to start with our first node, which is zero. So this corresponds to zero. And so since we defined this variable up here, i, we no longer need this variable, right? This becomes our variable. And again, we're basically setting the value to zero, which is of course the zero node. So this is basically the starting point. Think of it like that. Next, we need the actual condition. And you will remember the condition goes in the second spot. And actually, you know what? We need a semicolon here, not a comma. I don't know why I had that in my head. And I'm just gonna go ahead and copy and paste the condition in here. And what we're starting out with is I is less than paragraph.length. So what does this mean? Well, all of the paragraph tags that we collected with our get elements by tag name method are going to be four nodes, right? So it's gonna be four. So that length has to be greater than I. That's what we're saying i is less than this and it will be initially right because we set this to zero but when it hits three or the fourth spot which of course is three and of course this condition will no longer be true and then the loop will stop now you'll remember the third part we have to put in is the counter and so each time this loop runs it'll be incremented by one so the first loop will run it will alter this paragraph tag to italic and then it will be incremented by one and then it will run again and it will hit the second paragraph element tag and set it to italic and so on and so on and so now what we need to basically do is put in one line of this code up here and actually we can just copy and paste this part remember we no longer need the variable we're using this as the variable now and so we'll just copy and paste this in here and now we're going to set this to i because we're setting it up here to zero so we don't need to specify a node here because we're going to be looping through this so now this for loop is good to go so let's get rid of all of this code and if everything works accordingly, all of our paragraph elements will be switched to italic using just one line of code. How about that? All right, so let's go ahead and run this. And let's go over to our web page. We'll run this in Chrome. We hit submit. And look, everything's changed to italics. So that's going to do it for this video. I will see you guys in the next video.